welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming again to watch me and i hope that you enjoyed this video i am so happy but i am so exhausted i'm proud of myself because it's the first of many so i cannot always look back and be like oh my god i did and just kill myself but like i'm so happy i did a lot of things off camera but i also did a lot of things on camera and i can manipulate the data i can man manipulate the, what what i want to say you know okay but anyway it's fine Okay, first up I'm going to do my eyebrows. I actually got this from a lady from church. Sister Susan, thank you so much. So I did my eyebrows off camera because they were not identical. Even now they're still not identical but I felt like I needed to speed it up. While I was away, I was reminiscing over the kind of palette I'll be using. So right now I'm going to be setting my concealer with that shade. I'll be setting my concealer with this shade. And then, yeah. I feel like you can use any you don't necessarily have to go and buy what I have because even what I bought I also just found at the store at a beauty store in Alberton Alberton City so <laughs> I am so nervous honestly I'm so nervous and I'm asking myself what am I doing here why am i here like why am i doing this but anyway because i'm going for a nude theme i'm actually going to use brows on my face right now and i feel like i should just put my my palette over here so i will just use this compact mirror and i think i'm gonna conceal again just so that my phone so that my eyeshadow actually sticks to my face so right now I'm going to conceal my eyelids using the same foundation concussion and just so that my foundation sticks and doesn't cause problems for me you know what I'm saying I'm actually really tired now and I wish I didn't have to do this but I'm doing it and then using the same beauty blender I'm going to blend it all out and then quickly I'm going to use the same shade that I showed you to powder it quickly so that it doesn't crease but then again I'm also using this as a transition shade for my eyeshadow I love it when the look comes together like I'm so happy but I actually am happy and my nerves are a bit down now so let's just do this now so currently this is what I'm doing to my eyelid So that my foundation actually sticks not foundation so that my eyeshadow sticks and it becomes more pigmented and I'm still going to create a cut crease because I checked out the colors that I'm going to be using and I am excited Ooh, uh, and then again, I'm going to quickly take my fluffy brush and I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow that I went into. 
brush it's much more thinner than the fluffy brush so this one I'm actually going to use Ooh! <laughs> this is so exciting so right now I am actually gonna go with a much darker shade and now this is going to be my second transition shade this guy thank you very much this eyeshadow palette actually smells amazing it smells so beautiful oh. and I am still going to create a ton of stuff here so I'm just gonna put it down again so that I use my compact mirror um, I'm just gonna go back and forth carefully doing so because yay the first place you put your eyeshadow that's where you're gonna get more color so I really suggest that you pick wisely you know where you're gonna put it so because I actually want it across my crease, I'm just going to blend it out now. I'm just going to blend it out. I love this color actually, it's so gorgeous. Mm. So I'm just putting this color across my crease. And then, because I have ooded eyes, this is what I usually do, just to see how it's going to look like when I open my eyes. And it kind of gives me an idea of where my eyes end. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where my eyes are going to be hidden, per se. You know, guys, like, I'm so excited for this journey. Like I am like the happiest girl ever because of all of this but now I'm not understanding why it's starting to change color I think it's because there's already a lot of product here so I think this is way perfect now Um, are we doing a brown makeup? Brown shades. Just make sure to blend, 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 blend. see it but it's quite nice I really like it so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye like, remember where you pack it that's where you're gonna get more pigment there so <laughs> this is so gorgeous
okay I'm done with my second transition shade now I'm going to go in with a darker shade a darker brown um, I'm going to be using this brown this brown over here okay using the same brush because we don't want a lot of too much not too much because i'm being extra careful now extremely extra This looks amazing. Amazing. The pigment on this palette is actually quite good. It's just that, you know, my technique. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I think it's just my technique. I cannot fault this one. Because you know, when you are beginning to, when you're starting off with makeup now. Yeah? And you are a beginner and you don't really buy expensive makeup I mean why would you want to play around with that so the kind of makeup I bought before okay that my mom had because I did not buy them the kind of makeup I used I actually did buy this one it was like 25 rand that palette I'm actually gonna show you guys the pigment there wasn't so great but like my makeup is just nice you know but i would spend time packing on i would even go to a point where i would use my hand so that the color is vivid Woo! this is amazing So this one is much more better. It is way better. Way more better. I like this eye more. Because you know with makeup, they will always be the best looking eye. Sort of, you know. So I'll go back again with the fluffy blush fluffy brush just to blend everything together and ensure that everything is just well blended oh that looks amazing amazing okay amazing apologies for straying away I wanna so now I'm gonna use a black color using a different palette because here there is actually a grayish color and it's more so on the like it's much more lighter but I wanted a full black eye so I'm actually going to use a fair lady This one's like black, black, black. So, yes, but it's 
Um bichinho. start packing that's where you're gonna get more you really need to spend time take your time with makeup you need to be like really careful especially If you are a perfectionist like me, it's time to blend now. So now I want to cut my crease so that, let me show you, so that I can actually use this and it's also a brown color so that I can be able to use this. It's also a brown shimmer color, let me show you, let me show you. you to see it okay I'm using my concussion again to cut my cream so I'm gonna use a rounded brush I'm gonna use a rounded brush to actually cut my crease so that it's more cleaner hold on yo guys I have sad news as I was applying my eyeshadow and explaining and blending I was out of storage but have no fear I fixed that I mean I'm currently using my phone to record I think I need to sort this out the space stuff out but I think I'm gonna just rush through it now just explaining to you which colors I used um, I used this also I also used this color, I used that brown and that brown and then I used this shimmer color here and I used this concealer again to conceal my eyes but yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> anyway, it's okay. It's okay. At least I'm done with my eyes and I'm happy with it. So now I'm just going to head straight into it before it closes off again. Because I deleted some really important stuff so that I can have this. As soon as I move it to my laptop, I'll be able to, I'll be able to quickly get done. So right now I'll be... It happened again, but let's fast forward, okay? So I'll be using this primer, and I'm using this primer on my, <laughs> on my face. Wow. So I'm just using a small amount on my face. Ooh, it feels so smooth. The only thing I'm going to do here is because I have pores on my cheek area, I am seriously going to use it around those areas and also here because I have 
little bumps over there for some damn reason. And also on the side of my face. I used to use a small amount because I was so afraid to actually waste it. Remember? I was afraid to waste it, but I feel like it's okay, you know? I actually need this. my life depends on it so i'll be checking this camera now because it keeps switching off and i deleted so many things now so if it does that again i'm completely doomed now and and i don't know it's getting late it's getting really late i'm not happy at all first day filming a makeup video and this is how it goes switch off my candle yeah, I feel like I'm black. I lit this for good luck After priming my face, I'm going to use this. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Um, it's L'Oreal. 24-hour inflammable stay fresh foundation. Fights makeup meltdown. And that I can probably promise to you, okay? That one I definitely promise to you I'm gonna just use one pump on my face and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just go you know cuz re bougie you know what I mean like re bougie re 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 bougie so I'm going to again use my beauty blender to actually do this I actually want to try using a brush but I'm gonna do that with my next Thing that I'm going to use as you guys can see like this thing is quite orange on my face I really do apologize for not looking at the camera but I'm also using the screen as my mirror now because I saw that I drew it a whole and I still have so much to do and I'm so sad I'm really sad honestly I'm really sad. Um, I will check if the makeup is proper. I mean, look at this foundation. And I saw that they changed the packaging. And I'm definitely going to get this the very same one again because, uh uh. I'm not sure about the color. I don't know if this color actually is my skin tone because it's actually really dark and I always thought that I was caramel I'm using another pump and then I'll use the excess to to I'll, use, I'll put the excess in the container up because in there it's actually running really low so right now I'm just blending this foundation all over my face ensuring that I cover every corner every inch crook and crony <laughs> all over my face like I'm so like hurt I'm so hurt okay except for my <laughs> My eyeshadow is a little Um, with lipstick, honestly, I don't know which lipstick to use, but I have an idea which lipstick I actually want to use. So, let me just do it right now. Because I wanna, I don't wanna. Oh. 
I'm hurt shame you. <laughs> okay. To highlight my face, I'm definitely going to use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. Just to highlight. It is annoying. The thing, an uh, applicator thing. I don't know, I don't really want to use it. But I think it's really sad because people, I see people are just like, ooh, ooh. So, guys, quick disclaimer. I just want to mention that. Um, I highlight my face differently actually my nose specifically because it's more rounded and it's more you know that's what I do to my nose I'm gonna need more there. that's what I do to my lips that's what I do to my forehead, to my chin, and then this is what I do to my forehead. But here, I feel like I need more. Okay. Yeah. It already looks better. So apparently, you wait for it to soak in. Okay, now I'm going to blend. Blend. And yes, I'll be making faces. <laughs> uh -uh. with my eyes I mean with my and my underneath my eyes this is what I do um I usually do it later than this but I mean okay while I blend 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 Okay, the look is coming together nicely. I mean, I keep deleting stuff, so I'm just hoping that go right. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm definitely using this. I will be using this. I will be using this LA Girl Pro Powder to um set my concealer. And all I did. This is what I do. And then I just go. <laughs> because this seems to be a whole lot of light, lighter than I expected. 
This is honestly the first time I use this. Usually I use baby powder and it works perfectly fine if you cannot afford, or not really afford, but if you're still practicing to do makeup and you don't really want to waste the products that you buy. I also recommend that you use that. So this is actually a flat-ish brush. This is what I use to contour. And for contouring, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible. Infallible 24 hour powder foundation. <laughs> Makeup is messy, yo. Makeup is messy. So this is in the shade, I think it's copper. I don't know. Oh, it's in the shade cappuccino, which is a bit dark for me. So that's why I used it for contouring and also ooh, setting my face. Uh, again, because I have a really unique shaped nose, all I do. Okay, nothing this brush won't fix. Always have this brush on hand. It always removes excess 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 um yeah that And then I just use the same brush that I use to powder or to put on my setting powder. I use it to contour the whole of my face. Honestly, no. I use this one. It's angled. Works like a charm. Mm -hmm. Now, for my blush, because wow, actually, no, I'm first going to sit my face. So, now what I'm going to do is use my setting spray from Essence. This is an instant matte essence oil free non-sticky and lightweight which is all true i love this because it's instant matte and i have combination skin so i tend to get oilier on this this side i tend to get oily here so from using this i don't get oily at all but 
because skin is skin I know that dewy skin is in my skin does get dewy but in a good way I don't get shiny I don't look weird anymore so all I'm gonna do now is literally spray my face <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm definitely using my, bl my blush. This is a my mom's palette. She calls it, okay, it's, it's not she, it's written. Club Elegance. Club Elegance. Oh! I don't know, but it does the things. I love this blusher. And I pray that I find something like this. But I also found out that the Essence one is actually quite good. When I was busy doing research about makeup. Ooh, guys, I just want you to take a look at this. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, actually. This is actually what I do because it doesn't have a lot of pigment. I use a red color from this palette and it just gives me like a lot of color. Just using that color there just gives me a lot of color. Just go in again. just go like this and then I go in and voila yay our first video okay the look is done I look snatched I look good <laughs> well that's it for today please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in my next one